and oh, combo. I hate it. <laughs> That's amazing. I love that so much. Hello there, I'm Carlos and this is Kingdoms, where all your nerdy dreams come true. Today on Kingdoms and Friends, we have Amara, Goddess of Blunder, and Matt, the Material Plane. I want to say thank you for the nice response to my help video last month and let you know that our podcast and more fun things are on their way. If you'd like to continue to enjoy fun gameplay videos, please do hit the subscribe button. I'm hoping we can get to 20,000 very soon and consider becoming a patron like Adam Kilgore. Adam, thanks so much for your support. You've been here since almost day one. I am starting our Budget Commander League soon, so come check that out and much more at patreon.com slash kingdoms tv. The sponsor of this video and our channel is The Great Card Conduit. I know you've heard of me talking about them at this point, but I really hope you check out their site the next time you're selling your cards. The process is simple, they give you a great price, and they have been an awesome company and sponsor to work with. Get discounted fees and help us by using code kingdoms tv at checkout. Seal goes first, uh, two sixes, and this, unfortunately we have, uh, some of our dice have our logo on the six and some of it have it on the one. This one, <laughs> this one's on the one, so I got a three. A uh, six. Okay. Uh, Eleven. Not it is. You beat me. <laughs> I am Amara, goddess of blunder. Thank you very much for having me. I make Magic the Gathering content, I cosplay, and I show up at Magic Cons all the time. Uh, <laughs> you could also find me on the internet where I play Magic with my bird app friends over on twitch.tv slash goddess of blunder on Sundays and Wednesdays. And I am playing Dog Meat, ever loyal today. Uh, it is a basically an upgrade on the pre-con with all the fun enchantments and equipments that Dog Meat is uh, going to bring out for me. and. Hopefully, uh, smack you around. <laughs> mm. Hi, everyone. I'm Matt. You can find me on Twitter at Flavor Pro Matt. I'm one half of the Flavor Profiles podcast with Giraffe and Nat. We're a weekly cozy MTG podcast where we just talk about all the flavors and magic from text to lore to mechanics, art, and everything that makes us happy about cardboard. Tonight, I'm playing Nira Wild Mage. It's kind of a through chaos deck because... You just never know what it's going to flip to. It's pretty much a stack of is it spells, and we'll see is it good enough tonight. John Strong, and I am playing Strong, the brutish thespian. Brutish thespian. So, yeah, it's not, not often you get to play a commander with your name. Pretty excited about it. I don't know if I'm 7'7 seven, seven tall, but uh, I am on the tall side, so definitely excited to uh, rumble in and, uh, and attack and uh, irradiate myself. And I, I don't know, the, it all breaks down at some point. <laughs> but yeah, so super excited to be here. I play it on Kingdoms with Carlos, so happy to be here. Everybody, thanks for being here. And this is Carlos. I am playing my uh, Tovalar Dire Overlord deck. And this one is pretty straightforward. I um, I like to think I have a couple wolves that you don't see super often, uh, but otherwise I'm playing a lot of the best um, wolves and werewolves. And then I also really leaned into like extra attacks. So tried to make that the, the main way that it tries to win at the end. So it's really all in on the wolves and creature based deck and uh we'll see uh, if i can keep track of day and night uh, effectively enough the one downside i think about the deck and and but anyways with that we've already rolled to see who goes first and i think that was matt so take us away drop your turn play a steam vent you know what i'm gonna let that come in tapped and pass the turn all right, go ahead and draw. Uh, let's play a forest and a Ulvenwald trap. Hunt down those werewolves. Go ahead. <laughs> okay, untap, draw. Yeah. Um, all right, all wooded foothills. My one fetch land is I just drew. Go down to 39. Okay, um, shock it in. Tap it for classic Llanowar elves. I'll pass after that. <laughs> Gonna draw for turn. I am gonna play a stomping grounds. Just gonna have it enter the battlefield tapped, and then I will pass my turn. Here's a cooler stomping yeah. grounds. Tap two and play a 
Hmm. Is that a so counter one, or one plus one plus one? Uh, plus one counter. plus one counters. Oh, yeah. It's just gonna, you know, it's just gonna hang out. I'm gonna pass. He got just, haste, and it's but haste. So early. <laughs> it's one of my favorite set icons. I love Ikoria. Oh, and tap and draw. Yes, play forest and uh, Ozolith, the Shattered Spire. Mm. Gives an additional plus one, plus one counter if you would put counters on an artifact or a creature. And then I can pay two and tap to put a counter on a creature or artifact I control uh, as a sorcery. I'll pass the turn. Um, draw for turn. We're going to go for a Crag Crown Pathway. I'm going to play a Pyre Heart Wolf. One I don't see a ton, but I think it's pretty Oof. cool. A 1-1 one, one Wolfy. With that, I'll pass. Okay, okay. I will untap. I'll draw for turn. Gonna play myself a forest for the turn. Tap one and two. I tap that for red. I'm gonna play a loyal apprentice. It has haste two one. And at the beginning of combat on my turn, if I control my commander, I put a one one colorless doctor artifact creature token with flying onto the battlefield, and that token gains haste. Everybody's got creatures. That's very disappointing. <laughs> okay, I'll just pass. <laughs> okay. Yeah, the battle lines have been drawn. Yeah, uh, but one. One side of the table taps their lands to the left. You know. The yeah. other side taps to the right. That's what I'm talking about. Um, I love it. I've never. Uh, I've only run to like two or three people who tap them. Oh, <laughs> direction that I do. This is the right way. <laughs> this is the truth. There's. It's literally written on the card, and it's the wrong way. And it wasn't initially. There was no direction initially. Yeah, but initially they just let us do whatever we want. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to play a Shimmer Drift Veiled, and I'm going to pick blue. Comes in tapped, and I can tap it for a blue mana. Tap the steam vents and tap the mountain to play an is Cast a non-creature. Well, everyone's got something on board, so it's time to strike. Imara, I've missed yeah. you. Hi, how are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> What's up? Uh, two in the air. Sounds good. I'll take it. Go to 38. <laughs> It'll pass. <laughs> you know I'm a problem. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but you're one of my favorite problems. <laughs> I'm going to play a desert. Um, and then I'm going to throw a couple of counters on my tracker here. Matt. Yeah. I'll, I'll attack you. <laughs> okay. Take, for take, take three. Uh, three. Three. Okay. Yeah. And I'll pass. Untap. Draw. And how afraid am I of that tracker? <laughs> you can just pop off and merc my Tovalar. Hunt dog. Oh no. He's such. <laughs> so I'm getting the sense that we should make the hunter. Hunted? Yeah. I think you've spent so much time in the forest as a hunter that you just changed your ways and now are an elk. <laughs> All right. You keep your counters, unfortunately, for now. Um, I'll draw a card. All right, I'll play a Land of Elves to play a Wolf Bitten Captive. And then I'm going to play a Cinder Glade Tap because I don't have any basics. I will pass. Okay, dokie. I'll untap. Draw for turn. Let us play a Plains as our land. And I think we'll just bring our good boy out. Sounds good. Okay. Red. And we shall have a dog meat ever loyal into mm. the battlefield. Oh. When it enters the battlefield, I'm going to mill five cards. I'm going to return an aura or equipment card from my graveyard to my hand. Whenever a creature I control that's enchanted or equipped it attacks, I create a junk token. NT, Essential of uh, the Sun, Nuka, Nuke Launcher, mm -hmm. uh, Core Spirit Dancer, uh, Kellen the Fae Blooded, and a Aura Narlet. Only had one hit. <laughs> So, these all go to the graveyard. I am going to take this Nuka Nuke Launcher. Uh, I'm going to go to combat, uh, and I'm going to create a Thopter as I control my Ooh. commander. Oh, I'm going over to Matt to okay. smack him with my Thopter. Okay. <laughs> I'll take the one. I'll pass on to you, Matt. Okay. So, untap. Draw. Play an island. I'll... Got some mana over here. Nothing to, nothing to worry about. Mana and, a, and a, with a with a, a big is it that spell slinger? Yeah. No. Oh, do. Okay. <laughs> they play an Archmage Emeritus, so two two with Magecraft. Whenever you cast or copy an instant or sorcery, draw a card. Uh, I guess I'm gonna go to combat. 
two in the air, down at John. At the end of combat step, I'll hit it for a damage. Just to remind uh, it. It's a hostile, it's a hostile <laughs> desert down here. Uh, my turn? This is so you don't forget. All you. Yeah, yes. <laughs> Listen, I am not here to catch people with sneaky ability lands, all right? Uh, I'll draw for turn. Uh, let's play a Plaza of Heroes. And I'm going to play Kadama of the West Tree. Modified creatures have trample, and it has reach. And uh, whenever modified creature deals damage uh, I can uh, to a player, I can go get a basic land. So in that case, uh, Carlos, there's a oh. big 5-5 five, five elk headed your direction. Walking with an undying wolf. I will trample yep. for four and go get a uh, forest. And I'll be done. Why is it trample? Uh, because of Kadama. Oh, of the I West maybe tree. didn't want to block then. Okay. I know I sort of did it as you already told me, but I was like, why? Yeah, I think I will not. I'll take one extra damage. Draw. I will Tovalar. If that's all, I will attack with these two one ones. They will both get menace. I'll send two damage your way, John. Assuming you have no blockers. Uh, I have Kadama of the West Tree. Assuming you have one blocker. Yeah, take two. Yeah. Um. Then I'll draw two and. Oh, that's great. Play a forest. Pass the turn. Okay, dokie. I will untap. I will draw for turn. Yeah, let's tap one and two. And let us play Animal Friend. Enchantment Aura. Enchant creature. Enchanted creature has, whenever this creature attacks, create a 1-1 green squirrel creature token. Put a plus one plus one counter on that creature token. For each aura and equipment attached to this creature other than Animal Friend. I am going to go to combat. I'm going to create a second Thopter. How big is this arch, me? Oh, Kadama. Oh, you're so big and gross. I hate you. <laughs> yeah, arch is only a 2 2. Just a 2 2? Okay. I will come at you with dog meat. How, how big's the pupper? He's just a 3 3, and he's going to create a squirrel. All right. I will take the 3. And then I. I do believe I'm just going to leave a land up and pass. Untap. Draw it up. I'll play a Sirtland Frostpire. Comes in tapped. There's Mari Command. Oh. Choose two. So first I cast a non-creature, so that's a counter. Choose... You, you so do choose your targets card. before you look at your card. Yeah, targets yeah. before. So I'm going to do... I'm going to create a treasure and then draw to discard to so i'll draw for archmage discard to that is a scary squirrel coming at, coming at you fast oh. that was amazing it's got a little oh. dagger <laughs> it's <laughs> it's so good i'm gonna discard and enter the infinite all right i'm gonna swing the sprite dragon which is now a three three i know you got flyers but i'm gonna swing it at you amara to try and take out one of those thopters at least i will take your three <laughs> you can't hurt my thopters <laughs> i'll pass sounds good let's untap and draw okay let's go with a uh, homeward path or the green dragon in I am going to play a uh, Argonoth, Pillars of the King, uh, the original Ozolith. I'm going to play a Power Fist. Quick Creature has Trample, and whenever it deals combat damage to a player, put that many plus one plus one counters on it. And I will equip Kadama with a Power Fist. Who would like an attack? <laughs> Not it. Yeah, Which goes. <laughs> let, let, let the council determine. Carlos, I'll offer you a trade. I'll attack you with Kadama. Close and Amara, I'll attack you with a uh, five-five super elk. All right, I will block. All right, we're gonna trade. I'm gonna cast a heroic intervention. Ugh. All right. <laughs> I'm just gonna take the five. <laughs> That's why it felt I'm, like a sort of a big thing. I'm gonna cast Tyvar's stand and give uh, Kadama hexproof and indestructible. So <laughs> I'll get a land though off of uh, super elk, and I'll pass. Okay, um, Tovalar will trigger as I have a werewolf, a wolf, and a werewolf. Um, so I get a flip as it is night. 
And then this guy's the only other one that flips. It turns into a 2-2, but it can spend 4 mana to give it plus 4, plus 4 till end of turn. And I will draw. Um, so let's play 2 mana and play a Sword of the Animist. All right, we'll put this uh, Sword of the Animist on the Crawlin' Horde Killer. I will attack. All right, we're going to send a 3-3 three, three at John. Eh, I guess. I guess we'll just send four at you. I'm gonna hey. go, we'll get a land. Okay, then I'll draw two cards. Then I'm going to play a Gruel Turf, Bouncing the Mountain. I'll pass turn. Okay, okay. I will untap. Draw for turn. Still not going to hit my land. What? Unfortunate. Bad. Luckily, I have stuff that I can play still. So yeah. <laughs> Junk lets you do something, right? Oh, yeah, junk does let me do stuff. I'm going to sacrifice this junk. I'm going to tap my junk. <laughs> <laughs> tap my junk. junk and I'm going to exile the top card of my library, which is going to be this Ash Baron. Nice. I may play it until the end. Be of the like game. junk. Yes. <laughs> there we go. Boop. Um, Saves the day. <laughs> my junk saved the day. I can't say that all the time. <laughs> 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 I'm going to play myself a, a junk jet. Um, when okay. the junk jet enters the battlefield, I'm going to make a junk. <laughs> and I am going to pay... Actually, I'm going to keep a white up. Forest. And we shall put this junk jet on dog meat because he just likes having lots of stuff on him. We're going to go to combat. <laughs> make a thopter. And then we're going to go to combat, and oh. dog meat shall swing at you, John. Um, okay. I'm going to make us another squirrel. <laughs> this squirrel will get... A plus one, plus one encounter. So we'll just... Oh, no. <laughs> uh, we will create a second junk token. I would have passed my turn, I think. Yeah, so I took three okay. off of a dog meeting. Yep. Play a mountain. Okay, I'm going to tap two blue, two more for everyone's favorite card that needs another reprint, Talrin Sky Summoner. Ugh. Tap a mountain to tap the signet. For two, tap another mountain for three, sack the for four to play a yep. storm kiln artist. And then I'll go to cop and I'm gonna swing the little three three sprite at you, Carlos. Relatively even life. Three totals. three you said. Uh yes. And then I'll pass the turn. Giant Mega Elk is going to attack uh let's attack Shomara. Trampling yeah. elk. It is a trampling Ooh. elk. I kind of don't like that elk. <laughs> <laughs> what did the elk ever do to you? I I'm going to send my legion of squirrels and two thopters shall block All this right. elk. <laughs> I will put uh, the counters <laughs> onto uh, the ozolith, which will then go up to three um, from the other ozolith. Whenever a creature I control leaves the battlefield. And then I am going to cast my boy, Strong, the Brutish Thespian. I'll leave the desert up. And I'll pass the turn. Three flip. Nate time again. Draw for turn. Play a Mutavolt. We'll send this at uh, John. That's a 3-3. Three, three. Well, the 3-3 three, three is going at John. The other two are going at Matt. Prior to any blocks, though, I will go get a tapped land. Forest. Nothing yeah. here. I'll just take three. No, no blocks. Okay, no blocks. Then, and I draw three cards. I'm going to cast a Dusk Watch Recruiter. Discard a mountain and a forest. And I'll be done. Untap. Draw for turn. Tap one of my junks and exile the top card of my library. It is a Sacred Foundry. Okay. Nice. Shock it in, I guess. Well, let's play a Nuka Nuke Launcher. Equipped creature gets plus three plus zero and has Intimidate. Uh, when equipped creature attacks until end of, of defending player's next turn, that player gets two rad counters whenever they cast a spell. <laughs> okay, so now the dog has a nuclear missile launcher. <laughs> Matt, I'm coming at you with dog meat. I'm going to make a thopter. <laughs> I'm going to make a junk. Oh, i got to make a squirrel. Okay, I'll take the six, and I'm going to get... You will get some rad counters every time you cast a spell. <laughs> every time I cast a spell. So let me let me just, you know, there. open the vault for... Uh, <laughs> your awesome deck box. There. That's awesome. I will pass on to you, Matt. Untap. Get out uh, of here. 
I'll play an island. So one, two, three, four, five total. Bolt deals four damage to target creature or player. First target. I'm, I'm going to go for dog meat. I wouldn't and... do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah? <laughs> so regardless, it doesn't have to succeed. Very well. Is that your final answer? <laughs> yes, it is. Okay. I'm going to play Flawless Maneuver and give my creatures an indestructible. I'm going to put that one in my hand and then those three on the bottom. Cast a non-creature. So that goes up one. I'm going to draw a card from the Archmage. There's too many triggers. I don't like this. <laughs> create a drink. And I'm going to create a treasure. And I'm going to get two rats. Tap the veil, the signet, sack the treasure, and then I'm going to cast an Aether Flux Oh, Go to combat from there. And then a sprite, which is now a 5-5 five, five at Carlos. Wolves are not very good blockers in the air, unfortunately. And the 24. Pass the turn. And untap and draw. Start off with two for a swift foot boots. One, two... Equip Swift Foot Boots to Strong. First, I'm going to go to combat. Uh, I've got a trigger to move Ozolith counters to Strong, which will then port Uh-oh. over as four counters. Go ahead and attack uh, Amara. Whenever he's dealt damage, he puts three plus uh-huh. one plus one. He just gets bigger. Mm. Okay, I'll just... Yeah. Uh, I'm going to take Ooh. 11. Oh. All right. So I will um, get the trigger to go get a land. And at the end of combat step, I'll use desert to deal one damage to strong. And oh, combo! Uh, I hate it. <laughs> That's amazing. I love that so much. Okay. Um, so I'll go get my land and I will pass the turn. End of turn, I'm going to flash in a night pack ambusher. Gives other wolves and werewolves plus one plus one. And the beginning of my end step, if I didn't cast a spell this turn, I get a 2-2 green wolf creature token. Okay, I do have enough wolves. A flipperoo. I'll draw for turn. Let's play a mountain. I'm going to play this dude because I don't know if I've ever played him. Ulrich of the Crawling Horde. He's a 4-4 for 5. Else. When he enters or transforms into this side target creature gets plus four plus four till end of turn we'll give the crawling horde killer plus four plus four till end of turn we'll move to combat um yeah we're gonna send the big one at matt and everything else at john 15 is the amount of damage i will take i'll block with the one of the with the drake and the storm kill um okay. i'll draw four cards and a scorned villager, which is a mana werewolf. And then I'll discard a forest, and I'll be done. I'll untap. Draw for turn. <clears throat> Let us play one of my favorite enchantments, Daybreak Cornet. <gasps> Don't like anything that's happening. Only one person's done you 11 commander down. Yes, that oh, is simmer, true. Simmer, <laughs> simmer down. <laughs> Let's go to combat. We will make ourselves a thopter. From Loyal Apprentice, we will make ourselves a... Well, we will be making a junk token with dog meat. I think I am actually going to swing dog meat over at Carlos. If you attack John, you maybe would kill the Kadama. That is true. I do hate Kadama. That is true. You have to block. And Kadama is a problem. But then I might get attacked by Strong next turn if I... If, Absolutely. <laughs> I will definitely get attacked by Strong. Absolutely. You can I'm do whatever come you at want. You. You're fine. Oh, okay. John, I'm coming at you. Hey, what? <laughs> oh, wow. You get rad counters. <laughs> no. It's... You can be radical, too. Yeah. Don't you want to be radical? I, I have... All right. I'll, I'll block with Kadama. I will gain nine. And then I think I am done with my turn. <laughs> That's oh, Strong's man. only downside is he doesn't have trample. If he had trample, it'd be even... he's already kind of terrifying. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Listen, I'm it's fine to, to need to draw. have to do a little bit of work. All right, hey. mill yeah. four, silver bluff, ley line of anticipation, and the ruby medallion. Three non lands. I'll lose three rad counters. Go down 
to one, take three. Tap two blue, seven. For Ginger Taxius, oh, progress timer. Oh goodness. Force of Vigor, um, getting rid of Arbor Elf. So my targets will be Aetherflux Reservoir and Power Fist. Alright, uh, Amara, do you have any responses to... I have no response, unfortunately, to Ginger. Matt, Besides a groan. <laughs> I could do something, but I mean, I don't like the, the Power Fist that much either. Hmm. Hmm. What if what if I don't yeah, attack yeah, you next turn? Will you no stop? Uh -huh. No! <laughs> yeah. We're still in the throes of We're still in the throes of negotiation. <laughs> Democracy is non negotiable. <laughs> I, I'm not gonna I'm I'm not getting anywhere near fifty I <laughs> any time since this deck is, right, well, is slow on that front. Then in that case, this is I guess still with Jin on the stack. I'm gonna pay three for an Arctruid's charm and search my library for a creature or land and put it into my hand, unless it's a land, in which case I'll put it onto the battlefield. I think it's pretty good. John, you will get some uh, rad counters. No, oh, yeah, I, but I, yeah. got, I got attacked. Yeah, you did get attacked, so, yeah. So I, I get two more rad counters. So that's one. And you get life, see? I can give you life back. This is, this is, a, wonderful, <laughs> this is a wonderful gift. I am going to get a Timeless Witness into my hand. All right, I'm going to Beast within the Big Flyer. I would like to pack the Beast within. Fair enough. Sheesh. So cast an on creature, so that's... The all my of, special things are... Or all my tricks are gone now. Um, and then you pass, Matt. Yes. So let's untap and get some radiation on. So five cards smell fear emerald medallion legolas's quick reflexes titanic brawl mutant's prey wow four fight spells <laughs> and one uh no more rats and a game five life then i'll draw for turn carlos don't attack me next turn i won't kill you i, don't, I can't promise zero damage i might here's what i'll say if i send something your way it would be only to draw cards and be small amounts of damage. I, I'm going to send uh, strong Matt's way to start things off. I'm going to block with the, the Drake token. Um, Drake token will be sacrificed to the mutant. <laughs> um, Just like obliterates. <laughs> and then I'll also desert strong at the end of combat. <laughs> to do it again. Oh gosh, I did not also lift these correctly. So I should be getting four counters each time. So each of those, uh, we'll get two more, or get one more. Jeez. <laughs> and then I'm going to pay three and play a Tato Farmer. Um, whenever a land enters the battlefield under my control, I can get two rad counters. Uh, and then I can tap and put target land in a graveyard that was milled this turn onto the battlefield under my control. And then I guess I probably do need another blocker. So I'm going to play the Timeless Witness. How many? Um, you're actually still getting rad counters from me too. <laughs> oh really? Oh. Until you're awesome. into your next turn. <laughs> All right. So uh, just these two spells. I'll get back Kadama, and I'll be done from there though. Tap up, keep. We're doing some flips. Uh, this moon scarred werewolf is a two-two vigilance that can tap for two green. And Ulrich, when this creature transforms into Ulrich. Alpha, you may have it fight, target non-werewolf creature you don't control. So oh, we're in danger. Who's who's got something cool out there? Oh, we have a nice little uh Ginger Texas. Man, I should not have played my beast within. Let's have a 7-7 seven, seven fight the uh, Ginger Texas there. Uh draw for <laughs> turn. Okay, let's play a rogue's passage. I will declare my attack step. Everything's attacking except for Lanoir Elves. We have to send 15 or less damage at John. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, to hold on to our uh, the letter of the law, if not the spirit of the law. All right, I'm going to send the Ulrich at Amara. You have a 2-1 and a 1-4, John? Yep. We're going to send my commander, which is a 5-5. Five, five. We're going to send a 4-4 four, four ambusher your way. I'll also send another 4-4 four, four your way, so that's a 13. All right, we're not going to attack with the Vigilance one. I unfortunately have to send the Pyreheart Wolf. That I still think I'm under 16 if I said this a Jod. So nothing's going at Matt. No, this has to go at Matt. Yeah, that, that one. 
Oh, I'm dumb. I'm so dumb. All my guys can be pumped. We'll keep these at John, this at Amara. Yeah, the rest at Matt. So Matt, you're getting three. Uh, three, three, Vigilance, two, two, Undying, and a okay. three, three, Pumpable. Oh, well, they're all pumpable, but... I'll take the eight. Um, so a couple of right. things before blocks. First, I'll get a land real I'm... quick. Um, but yeah, before blocks, I'm going to give Ulrich unblockable. All right, yeah, go to three. This is... This is great. Good deal. Good friend. You could have died right then. Yeah. You'd be dead. Yeah, you're going to die. All right. I'm not even going to die, no, too. Yeah. No okay. No blocks for me. No blocks for me either. I can't. And I'll draw some cards. Seven cards. Seven cards. I'm going to pay two green, two red, and one other for World at War. All right. Rebound. And then rebound. I don't think I'll live to rebound, but. You know. All right. I think I go to combat. See, this is why that deal saved you, John. Because yeah. you were like <laughs> dead, you know. But I promised I wouldn't kill yeah. you. I did my thing. You know, werewolf showed up, and um, we'll just swing out. They they don't know the how to hold back. You know. Am I just killing Matt instead of John now, just because you're a bystander? That's pretty sad. Yeah. Well, here's the thing. Maybe I don't attack <laughs> with everything because I can block. That's what we'll do. We'll send another seven unblockable. We'll play Utopia Sprawl. This it'll net me nothing. I'll put on the Cinder Glade. It'll be a mountain. Or no, it'll be forest. And I'll play this because it gains me some life. Oh no, I'm dead to commander damage. That's what I gotta remember. I'm gonna play Huntmaster of the Fells. I'll discard these lands. When this creature enters the battlefield, I get a 2 2 green wolf creature token and gain two life. I'll be done after that. I'll untap. I won't draw for turn. I'll just tap a junk. Destroy a junk. And we will exile this top card, which is a Silver Shroud costume. <laughs> uh, Silver Shroud costume has flash. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, attach it to target creature. It gains shroud until end of turn, and oh. target creature can't be blocked. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> I'm going to play a Temple of Triumph. <laughs> I'm going to scry the top card of my library. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna tap my junk token. I'm gonna flip over strong back. Enchanted creature. Hold on. <laughs> Equipped abilities uh, that you would activate that target enchanted creature cost three less to activate. Aura spells that you cast <laughs> that target enchanted creature cost three less to cast. An enchanted creature gets plus two plus two for each aura and equipment attached to it. <laughs> This isn't uh, going to matter, I just realized, but this guy does flip, and I give something plus four, plus four, which have it be my commander. And I'm going to play strong back on dog meat. I'm going to tap mm. one and two and attach the silver shroud costume to him. He is now hexproof and unblockable and getting plus 12, plus 12. Red, dread. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to combat. I'm going to create another squirrel. <laughs> the squirrel is getting plus five, plus five. Carlos. <laughs> I am going to come at you with dog meat. Um, I shall come with three of my four thopters at you, John. <laughs> convenient. Ooh. Very convenient. <laughs> I'm going to gain some life. <laughs> 20. Oh. Two. Fog. No. Uh, oh, All right. Boy. Is that no, nothing in combat? We're, we're dead? I said. I think everybody besides Matt. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Matt. I, I spared I'm gonna, you. Right. Give you I'm a gonna shot. Make my, <sighs> I'm going to make myself a junk token. All you got to do is bounce that dog. Part uh, of the cards. <laughs> uh, that's all I got. I will pass my turn. I'm going to untap, and then first I'm going to pay my pact. And you got to pay the pact. I forgot about that. <laughs> Dude, jeez. Oh. I was just a oh. mess that game, literally. Didn't even do anything but hurt people's chances. All right, That's now right. I'm going to mill for my rad. Oh, Glenelendra. <laughs> so I'm going to take one, lose my last rad. I'm going to play Cascade Bluffs. I need to cast Jory and Ruin Diver. And then I'm going to go to combat. <laughs> and I'm going to swing the Sprite Dragon for six in the air. I'll block with my thopter. <laughs> and then I'm going to die. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna because that was all I have. A volatile fjord. Dogmeat <laughs> is gonna sacrifice a junk token to double his attack. <laughs> that was that was good. That was a good game. Good game yeah. I was just trying to think if I had any other outs, and even if I didn't make the promise with you, John, I don't think I could have killed. I, uh, yeah, if I wouldn't have grabbed. <laughs> well, actually, the silver. if you wouldn't have um, top decked the unblockable, yeah, that you definitely through? helped. 
Uh, well, what so. was going to happen if I didn't do that is I was going to Blasphemous Act with an Umbra Mage out, so... Mm, that so, Dog Meat would still be alive. Yeah. <laughs> you monster! I am a monster! <laughs> and then I had the Fate of Megaton in my hand, too, so it was just like... <laughs> just like, if I need to kill everything, I can? Yeah. <laughs> good game, everybody. That was good, though.